I'm Cartel from Hell back again with another unboxing. This time we're gonna have the Sume Majin Vegeta statue. So yeah, a lot has actually changed since the last time I made a video. I actually moved everything into this room. I had it in a different room in the house, but I'm actually giving that room to my wife for, you know, her little key light corner and makeup area and all that. So yeah, man, this is the new room. You know, I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a room tour a little later on, but right now I just really wanna get this statue opened. I've actually had this piece in for about a week and a half now, and I've really been dying to crack it open. It's been sitting here for too damn long. So let's get it smelling like China up in this motherfucker. All right, so for a lot of you guys that don't know, you know, a lot of people have been wondering why I haven't made a video in about a year. Well, to tell you the truth, man, I had just gotten married. It really wasn't any time for uh, making videos or anything like that. I actually started selling a lot of my pieces. And at that point in time, I had maybe about 140 statues. And it just didn't seem like it was the right time for me to be investing so much money and time in statues. You know what I mean? You got to prioritize your life. I decided, you know, just to take it a little easier. You know, don't go crazy with it. So pretty much, I'm just focusing on statues that I really love, statues that I have to have. So I'm definitely going to be focusing on this line from Sume, no doubt man this is this is really top on my list man this is a high priority for me yeah man it's definitely gonna be hard to get this thing up out of the box all by myself up in here definitely a big ass box i'm gonna save all these till the end and pop them all open at the same time so we can see exactly what each one is this room right here actually has more space for statues than the other room did. The other room was a little bit more spread out, but because this one has four walls, I'm able to utilize each wall. You guys are only seeing two walls, but I actually have two other walls right here that are completely full with statues as well. But yeah, we'll get onto that later, man. <laughs> Big ass box, you guys. Okay. <laughs> I changed the Gita, baby. <laughs> Looking good, man. I'm thoroughly impressed with the box. I love this Sume crest. The logo that they have on top. All embossed in gold. Nice touch. The Majin symbol on the sides. It's beautiful, man. Did a really good job with this. Let's get this baby cracked. All right, so inside is where you have the rest of the packets. And like I said, we're gonna go ahead and crack those open a little bit later, right before we go ahead and put the statue together. I know one of them is the instructions. It's funny when you see people try to pull the boxes, the styrofoam out of the box directly, man. Just flip the shit over, you won't have no problems. Yeah, baby. Damn, it's a big ass box. The top side will have that Sume logo up on top. Let's go ahead and get this ribbon undone right quick. So on the ribbon, it just says Sume HQS, high quality statue. Here's a nice little touch. So this one is actually gonna have two layers. I've been really missing doing these unboxings. I had a lot of people like, damn bro, what happened to you, you die or what? <laughs> but nah, I'm still here, man. I had a lot of people like say, oh, his wife must have made him quit collecting or something. Not the case at all. Funny though. So let's go ahead and get both of these layers off real quick. This first one is just protective layer. <laughs> Damn. Oh man, that's insane. You know, I've opened up so many statues, man. It just never gets old. What does get old though is all these fucking boxes you gotta keep. All right, you guys. We got everything laid out. So on this upper level, we got these really big energy waves, his electricity effect, Vegeta himself, his open hand and his fist. And then we also have the little Sume metal plaque. Super sick, man. I love that. And then on this lower level, we got the base, the smaller energy waves, and then we have the Dragon Ball Z little plaque that goes on the front of the base. And then we have the uh, electrical components for the statue as well. So now that we have all this laid out, let's go ahead and separate it and get the instructions out. Get that going, and then we'll go ahead and get the base out and get it going, man. All right, so this one is actually in the instructions. It comes with all of the parts numbered, and it also comes with a picture of the statue itself outside, out of the plastic wrapper. And then on the back side, it has all the different plug components, electrical components, and all that for the instructions. I mean, really, that's all I really need out right now, but let's go ahead and open up these other ones just to see what they are. It's a very simple art print, but it would look nice next to the statue framed up. Pretty cool. Now let's go ahead and get this last one open. 
little certificate of authenticity, Majin Vegeta, 331 out of 3,000 pieces. Nice little COA, pretty dope, man. Yeah, baby. You guys have no idea how long I've been waiting for this statue, man. All of you guys that pre-ordered this, man, it, it took a while to finally come out. But from what I've seen so far, man, it's definitely worth the wait. See how heavy this base is, man. It looks like, oh my God. Yeah, really big base. Super heavy, you guys. What? Super, super heavy. This is what it's all about, man. I love heavy pieces. Damn, baby boy. So impressive. All kinds of statue dust everywhere, man. Let me go ahead and get this cleaned off first. I can't get down like that. I can't stand a bunch of nastiness all up in my collection room. Not feeling it. All right, you guys, so now that we got it cleaned out, we're gonna go ahead and install the uh, smaller energy waves in the back. Number two, three, and four. You got two right here, closer to the Dragon Ball Z symbol. Three and four in the front. Go ahead and get out two first. Loving it, man. It's looking so good so far. So sick. All right, so two is gonna go ahead and go right here. Yes, sir. All right, now time for three. Not only did they bag it, but they wrapped it with some foam to keep it nice and tight inside this little place in the box. All right, so here's three. All right, so let's go ahead and go with four now. One thing that I really love about this statue is even though it's a very elaborate piece, at the same time, it's very simple. You know, Vegeta himself, he's very simple. He doesn't have any switch outs or anything like that. They pretty much just made him perfect as is, and they don't need anything extra to make it any better. They give you a bunch of other things that really elevate the statue, like the plaque and all that. That's dope, man. All right, man, so number five, Vegeta himself, the star of the show. Got some really nice weight to him, man. So happy to finally see some DBZ quarter scale pieces. Damn. The texture on him is amazing, man. The highlights from the energy waves look so much better in person. He's got some really clean paint apps on his portrait on this one. I got really lucky. I've only seen one picture so far where the paint apps were a little bit wonky on his uh, portrait. And I was just crossing my fingers that mine was going to come in perfect. And it did, man. Came in really nice. At the end of the day, a statue is still hand painted. So you're going to have little imperfections. So don't go too crazy, man. The shading on it's really good, though. Not just on the suit, but all up in his muscles. Looking real good. Let's go ahead and plug them in right quick. Went in super smooth, just like butter, baby. Gonna give you guys a quick spin around. Damn. You know what? I'm actually gonna go ahead and pull you guys in a little bit closer so you guys can see the statue just a little bit better, man. Really wanna get you guys in on this so you can get a great feel for the statue. All right, so now I got you guys a little bit closer just to focus on the star of the show, Vegeta, just a little better. Get out of number six, seven. No glove, no love, baby. You know how we do. All right, so number six is his closed fist and the key actually has a, uh, a notch cut out of it. So you can't put it on there backwards or anything like that. And then now we have fists with his fingers spread out. Yes, sir. Magnets are very strong on that. Go on super smooth, just like butter, baby. You know how we do. All right, so number eight actually comes in five parts. And it's going to be A, B, C, D, and E. And that's the uh, electricity effect. They're all wrapped up in one convenient little package. All right, so let's go ahead and get A in first. So it looks like A wraps around him on this side. It plugs into the back. Yeah, baby. All right, now let's get B out. All right, so now B is gonna be the second one down. Plugs into his back. All right, so now we have C. C is gonna go ahead and plug onto the back of his arm. This part's right here, definitely a little bit more tedious, but what are you gonna do? Looking good, man. All right, man, now we have D. D actually goes on his left leg and then swoops behind his right leg, just like that, baby. And then E is actually gonna go in the opposite direction. And E is actually the only one out of all electricity effects that actually has a magnet on it. I wish that they all did. I can see why they don't, though, just because they're very uh, thin on the other one, so it might've been hard to put a little magnet in there, but magnets come in all sizes, so I'm sure that that they probably could have done it. Yeah, and that one goes in really nicely. I know it's a little hard for you guys to see just because you're a little farther away, but I had to leave a little bit of room so you guys can get the whole bigger energy waves in the screen as well. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and go number nine. So now we're getting into the bigger energy waves. If anybody knows me, man, you guys know I'm a sucker for translucent resin. I love it. It works so well with Dragon Ball statues too. Look at that shit, you guys. Beautiful, man. It's one big ass chunk of translucent resin. A little bit dusty from the factory, but not a big deal. Go ahead and plug that in. So the right side first, fellas. Just like butter, baby. All right, so it should be number 10 for the bigger energy wave. Let's go ahead and get number 10 in. Damn, it's looking real good, man. Yeah, I just really wanted to take my time on this one and really enjoy it, man. Like I said before, man, I'm really gonna go all in on this line. If I completely quit all of my other lines, I'd probably stay with this Sumi line, man. Here's that second big ass energy wave. Massive, man. Shit is insane. Let's go ahead and get her in. 
So yeah, you definitely want to do it in that order. You don't want to do it the other way around because it probably won't go in as easy. <laughs> Damn, loving it. All right, so number 11, this other energy wave right here. Man, they pack these things up really nicely, man. All right, so number 11, it's gonna go right here. Let's get out number 12. This one's gonna go in the front. Beautiful fit. All right, now let's get number 13. 13 should be this one right here. All right, number 14 now. Let's get it going. On to the Dragon Ball emblem in the front. Got a really nice Dragon Ball with one star. You guys might not be able to see it that well. Hopefully I can get a shot of it. Dope though, man. Magnetized, all that good stuff. Look at those paint lines in there. Paint lines are really good all up in there, man. Nothing's dripping or bleeding. They really took their time on this one. Super strong magnets on that one. Looks so nice, man. Has a really nice little touch on it. Time for the big ass Z. Super crispy paint lines. It knocked it out of the park. It's got a magnet on the back as well. So that's it, man. It's done dizzy. Now we're just gonna go ahead and show you guys the certificate plaque that comes with it. This thing I really would not recommend touching with bare hands. It's not going down like that. No, sir. Go ahead and give you guys a little look at it right quick. Comes with this dope ass little sume stand. Then you just insert it right up in there. Sick. Number 331 out of 3000. Power level max. Sume is dope for that, man. Loving it. I really wish other companies would include shit like this. Just feel like it really elevates the display. XM Studios needs to come back out with their coins, man. Said it a million times. It's not going to happen, though. Whatever. What you going to do? All right, you guys. Let's go ahead and get out the electrical components. Plug this shit in. Start the light show. Let's do it. Just wanted to give you guys a quick look at the electrical components for the statue. So it has all different kinds of connectors and adapters for different countries and then the power brick All right, you guys So now that we have Vegeta fully assembled We're gonna go ahead and cycle through all the different light features One thing I do have to say though that this statue does not come with an individual speaker So basically you have to provide your own speaker and plug it in with a headphone jack to the back of the base The first two cycles for the light up feature actually have sound effects The last three don't have any sound effects at all So let's go ahead and cycle through these light up features real quick this first this one is just pretty much a build up and it's gonna start out slowly and just gradually build up. <laughs> yeah, man. But see how it has that very gradual build up and gets a little faster. Super dope, man. And if you have your own individual speaker, you know, you could turn up the sound. Make it a little quieter if you like. Whatever you prefer. It gets a little louder as it goes. So the second wave for the light up feature is going to be pretty much the same thing just without the build up. It seems to be just like more of the electricity effect and not thunder and all that other effect in the background. So let's go with the third one. So this third one is, you know, pretty powered up, but it doesn't have any sound effect. Just, you know, it has that flickering. It's really nice though because you can see the light travel through the translucent resin a lot better in these last three modes, I think. You know, if you don't want the, the sound effect, but you want the light up to really shine. I feel like these last three are really your best option. All right, so this is number four. It's actually a little bit brighter than the last one. Actually, a lot brighter. It's like 50% brighter, and it still has that little slight flicker. It's just not rotating around. All right, so this is number five, man. This is the one that I like the most just because that light really shines through the translucent resin all the way to the tips. Yeah, I really can't spin it around for you or anything like that because the plug on the back with the speaker is attached. You have the power to power the base for the light feature, and then you also have the speaker plug. All right, you guys, so that's pretty much going to be it for this Sume Majin Vegeta. Vegeta statue. For the actual review, I'm going to go ahead and dive in a lot deeper on this piece. There's so much going on with it, and I really want to highlight this piece as much as I can. If you guys know, I pretty much just do one video for the unboxing, one video for the review. Yeah, man, I really appreciate you guys coming back and checking out the collection. Definitely stay tuned for more videos. Uh, if it's your first time here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, all that, smash that. All right, you guys, cartel out. Thanks for watching.